Right, if you're heading downtown, you may notice something a little different. Film crews taking part of Second Street back in time, say about 70 years. Ashlyn Webb shares what you need to know about the latest production to hit the downtown area. Props of mailboxes, fruit stands, and an old telephone booth. This isn't just a movie set, this is downtown Macon being transformed into 1950s Chicago. It's been fun, it's been interesting, a lot of interesting people on the production team um, watching this street transform. The block has been taken back in time. Storefronts of businesses turned into a tobacco shop, pool hall, bakery and music store. And Macon Clay has also taken on a new facade for the week. It's been transformed into a meat market <laughs> overnight. Amy McCullough says it's been fun for her pottery students. When we were in the inside, um, it was, we, we, we were in clay, but from the outside it just looks like a like meat place. So it was like really weird. But the temporary look also has an added incentive. $1,500 a day. Part of downtown has taken on this role for Tyler Perry's latest production, A Jasmine's Blues. The film takes place from 1937 to 1987 and follows an unsolved murder investigation that avails a story of love, deceit, and secrets, according to Deadline. So why make it? Aaron Buza with Visit Macon says the Capitol Theater was the perfect spot. In the scene, there's a particular location that they're looking for that, that would have been in Chicago or was supposed to look like it was in Chicago. And because the team knew this location, from having been here before, they knew that it was the look that, that they wanted for this particular scene. That was it. Booza says the cameras will roll this Friday and crews will wrap Saturday morning. He says to expect some streets to close while they're filming, but access to businesses will be available. Reporting in Megan, Ashlyn Webb, 13 W Amazing News. Bibb County Sheriff's Office confirmed the streets where production will take place. They also said they will release more details about any street closures later this week.